No car stuff, what? We're, we are attempting to finally fix this Game Boy. It has a bunch of out of pixels. Apparently the internet says to take it all apart, which I did. A bunch of little tiny small screws. They call this, what the hell, a tri-wing screwdriver or something? All it is is a precision screwdriver. I thought it was something different, but again, the internet makes things more difficult than what it is. So you take apart all that crap. It's kind of stuck to the, the screen's kind of stuck to the, uh, the lens, which is screwed up on mine. I should get a new one. Um, yeah, I'm going to clean it all up and then heat up the soldering iron and then basically just run it over here while it's powered on with the contrast to like nothing. So, we'll see if it works. And then they say to like take off, well look at the uh, thing in the camera. The camera picks up the different hertz but your eyes don't. Um, I think that happens in other countries too, they have a different lighting system. But you get a soldering iron, heat it up. Take that little piece of like foam off and then start going right, right, right until those broken lines are fixed. We can disprove this one too, maybe like the rest of the stuff we disproved on the internet, like shocking your battery with a welder. That's a bunch of. I like it get caps too. Pretty simple. Clean up all that crap. Oh, yeah, I should really get a screen for this. I should look for a screen in the battery door, and it will be a hundred percent. Whoa, it's actually working. It's kind of coming back now. A better trick, the soldering iron's pretty damn hot. I kind of just hover it over it instead of making direct contact. And when I do this, you see the lines going all wacko on it. So we need two hands. This is a delicate process. I don't want to light my laptop on fire. And with a little heat and the cooling, we got all the lines back. Whoa, so it works. Let's go turn it off, power back on, and then I gotta put my meatloaf in the oven. Oh, and as I'm doing this in my high-tech, uh, hey Chrysler building, my high-tech work um, station, I'm thinking about how there's more information how to fix video games, electronics, than there is like automobile electronics. It's kind of weird. You know, if you know those rebuilder guys who rebuild like modules and stuff, they're probably doing the same thing. They're finding where all the connections are, and they're just reflowing the solder joints, and the shit works again. But people just buy a new module and this and that, you know. And those guys are making serious money charging those as remands. But that's just something to think about. It's kind of weird the way people's minds are. They're more interested in video games than, like, fixing a mo expensive module on a car. But it's what it is. It's good the information's out there for this because you can apply it for other things. And uh, it makes your mind think about uh, how to fix things for less or for free as long as you have the proper tools let's go reassemble this beast just like put all this stuff back together it goes on the little pegs little contacts these things they rip too luckily these are in good conditions like they say on craigslist conditions and uh yeah cram this shit back together crotch cam i don't want to show you that no up here a little crotch cam i got no work area man this place blows now, I am not sure, but I may have a line of pixels that is out on this side. Not sure. Maybe it was always like that. I don't know. But it's like 90% better than what it was, so...